Hey guys, I'm sitting here right now sewing. Um, I'm working on the liners for all the bags. And I want to hop off real fast and show you all the mail I got today. Because I got a bunch of Christmas cards and a package that I want to share with you. Before I put the package up, it's actually it's back there is why I'm pointing back there. But um, I know I show a lot of mail, but it's just because of Christmas I've been getting a lot of mail. So, uh, and I want to make sure everybody knows that I got their card. There are two, a couple people who sent me cards that I've not gotten yet. And um, they've messaged me, you know, they've talked about it. So, um... I don't know if they're lost in the mail or maybe they'll still show up, hopefully. But, um, you know, I check my mail every day and so far I haven't gotten the two that the people said they sent and, and you know, they just haven't come yet. That's one reason I like sharing what I got because then people who sent something know that I got it. But I'm going to set up over there somewhere and show you the cards I got today and the package. Okay, so I'm down in the floor just over here because I got stuff piled up everywhere because I'm sewing and... It's always chaos when I sew, but I'm going to show you all the cards that I got. Let's break this up. And uh, I wrote in it uh, every all the information I always say because so I could go ahead and put all the envelopes in one place. <laughs> I don't have anywhere to put anything. All right, so I got this one from Pamela from Pamela's Creations, and she's from Washington State. Really pretty. Thank you, Pamela. And then I got this one from. April Lee from Pennsylvania and her yarny name is Be Wowed by April Lee. I think is how you what it is. And it's really cute. It reminds me of the Griswolds. <laughs> and it's like shiny. And then this one is from Nikki at Angry Cat Crafts from Florida. Really pretty. Thank you, uh, Nikki. Thanks. This is from Angel from Tennessee. She's actually, I actually knew her as a kid. She was older than me. She was my best friend for like five or six years, older sister. <laughs> but, um, you know, she was always just the older sister. And now me and her are friends because of crochet. And I think that's, I think that's cool. <laughs> but she sent me this really pretty barn one. It's glittery. But I just think that's really neat that, you know, I was, when I was a kid, I was friends with her sister, her little sister. And then now me and her are friends because of our common interest of crochet. So that's cool. But, um, this one is from, uh, Joe from Wisconsin. A dove. Thank you, Joe. This one's really cute. <laughs> this one is from Linda in Michigan. <laughs> this is so cute. I love the ones with puppies and stuff on it. This is another glittery one. I loved it glittery ones. This is from Sammy in Florida. And it says, AKA, so her yarny name is Twisted Stitches. Your penmanship's really pretty. <laughs> but it's another snowy scene and it's glittery. And then this one is from Marcy from Wisconsin. Cute little trick. Thank you, Marcy. Oh, I love this one because it's got a card on it. This one is from Tracy from Creatively Tracy in Pennsylvania. Got a cardinal, very pretty. She also sent a tea. It is salted caramel mate. Ma mate? Is that mate or is it ma matey? I don't, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> it's salted caramel uh, tea. <laughs> this one is from Melanie in Nebraska. It's another really shiny one, shimmery one. It's really pretty. This one's really pretty too. Another glittery one. And it's from Rosie from Texas. Really pretty um, snow scene. I like the snow scene ones a lot. And then I got this one from Marlo from Michigan. Really cute. Look at that deer. <laughs> That's so cute. Thank you. And then I got, the last one I got is I, I'm thinking it's from Tammy um, that's what the address label says but I'm not sure if that's who actually made it but it's this one I've seen a couple of people get this same card you know not the same one but set from the same person crafted and it's got Merry Christmas um, in it they're from where are they from in uh, Indiana <laughs> I can't remember but they also sent me a Christmas ornament let me fix it really cute um star and it's got the two colors it's really pretty it's like a maroon red 
and a uh, yellow. Very pretty. Thank you so much. And I love the card. All right, so that's all the cards I got that were just, you know, in envelopes, cards and envelopes. Then we also got a really awesome package. <laughs> like, um, me, Devin, and Jesse all three tore into it, and it was just a lot of fun to open. Let me dig the card out. Okay, so it's from Randy in Maine, which is really cool because me and Devin both have always wanted to go to Maine. We're huge um, Stephen King fans, so we want to go to Maine <laughs> because of that, but also because... Um, We've, you know, it's just pretty up there, and we've always wanted to go. But she sent this card. Really, really pretty. And it's one of those pop-up ones. So that's really cool. But she sent us a big old care package from Maine. All kinds of Maine stuff. And what's funny is when I saw it was from Maine, I brought it down to the post office, and I told Devin, I was like, this one's from Maine. And he said, he said, um... What do you think's in it? And I said, I don't know. And he, him and Jesse both said, a lobster, because you know, lobster's in Maine. And what's funny, when we opened it, there actually was a lobster in it. <laughs> a uh, stuffy lobster. So that's one thing that she sent. There's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna put it back in the box. And then she also sent this moose. She also sent two um, little packages of cars, like Hot Wheel cars. For, well, one was a tractor and one was a set of cars. But Jesse's already got that in the living room. And she sent him another gift, but I got it uh, right here that I'll show you. But it was just, <laughs> he's already torn into it. Okay, I don't even know where to start. There's seriously so much. But then she's, she makes all kinds of craft stuff. Not just crochet, but all kinds of stuff. And a lot of this is stuff that she's made, which is really cool. And it's like paper craft uh, gift set top thingies. So she sent me this one. It is a cold and flu kit. And it's got um, hand sanitizer, tissues. Uh, moist towelette. I, I think there's a tea back there. Some uh, mints, maybe. A sucker. Just really cute little, you know, get better kit. <laughs> and this is the other gift that Jesse got. It's an activity kit. So it's got a bunch of, uh, looks like Christmas ornaments that he can color. And uh, just little activity pages. And there's a pencil in there. You can't see it. I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> But uh, I think I'm going to take this with us to my sister's house on Christmas Eve because there's only two kids. It's Jesse and then my nephew who is eight. I think I might let them uh, share this and color ornaments and stuff. And it's super adorable. I love this. Actually, one of the craft fairs I went to recently had a bunch of stuff like this. That's where I bought that notepad and Jesse an activity kit. <laughs> and uh, they're so neat and handy. And I'm sure I could make something like this myself, but I would prefer to just buy it from someone. So I told Devin next time I go to a craft fair and I find a person who makes these, I'm going to stock up. Because these are great for uh, kid gifts and stocking stuffers. And we use stuff like this in the car or at restaurants and stuff. When we're on trips to distract Jesse so he doesn't have meltdowns everywhere. But I think I'm gonna let the boys both do this. This is so cool. Ah. Okay, let's see here. Okay, and then this was wrapped up and it's like a paper coffee cup. And when I opened it, open it, it's got a little container of marshmallows, some candy canes. They did get broken, but still. And then in the bottom is a container of hot chocolate mix. So it's like a hot chocolate kit that I will definitely use because I love hot chocolate. So that's so cool. It's the cup and everything that you need to make hot chocolate. All you gotta do is add to water or milk, whichever you prefer. And you got hot chocolate. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then we also got this one. This was packaged in this uh, bag, but it looks like a little cupcake. Hold on a minute. I haven't opened it yet. I think there's candy in there. I don't really want to open it because it's so pretty. Look. Yes, there's butterscotches in there. I don't want to open it though. Not yet. I want to leave it in cupcake form for a little while. It's so cute. <laughs> and then... She also sent some other little ways that she has for candy packaged up. Jesse started to rip into this, but I told him to wait until after um, I sh shared it. But it looks like a pencil. Oh, it says Jesse on it. It is his. <laughs> but uh, I'll give it to him after this, but I wanted to show it first. And the top, the point of it is a kiss. He started to rip it. And this looks like a Rolo. So there's probably more Rolos or kisses in there. But that's so cute. It's just paper crafted. It looks like a pencil. And then she sent this one. 
And this is like a wired ribbon that she made a little pouch out of. And inside of it is some more chocolates down in there, little candy bars. That is so handy. That would be such a cute stocking stuffer. And then this little box right here has a bunch of other candy things in it. I think that's what those were in, but like I said, we were ripping it open. Things just flying everywhere. But there's Tootsie Pops, and they got these cute little paper. Um, they go this way. Little paper, um, you know, decorated Christmas things that sit on a table. And they just got, this one's got snowman on it, and it says Noel. This one says Noel, and it's got like a teddy bear. And they're just suckers. There's five of those. And then this is, uh, <laughs> this is Rudolph's spares, like his spare noses. And it's some kind of little red candy. I don't know what kind of candy that is, but I'm sure we'll try it. All that candy. Okay, and then she also sent uh, two mugs. I'm only going to open one because they're, they're exactly the same. But they're like collector main mugs. They got all kinds of stuff about main on it. It's really glary. <laughs> but they're just, um, you know, like the kind of mugs you buy when you're a tourist. <laughs> Which are really cool. So we got one each for me and for Devin. So cool. We want to go to Maine really bad. We were actually thinking about making our, our family vacation there next year, but we went ahead and booked it in Gatlinburg again because uh, I don't know why. We just did. <laughs> we'll probably go to Maine when Jesse's older because uh, we're not going anywhere without him, and I'm kind of scared to take a little kid on a long trip like that because he might have some meltdowns. But um, let's see here. She also sent me a bowl cozy. She said it's her version of a bowl cozy. And I've got some bowls that I bet this would fit in. When when Devin got it, he's like, is that a hat? And I said, no. I said, it's some kind of cozy. And then when I read her note, I saw that it was a cozy. It's a bowl cozy. Okay, there's there was also this tin down in there. And in the tin is some stitch markers. And there was a, a main magnet with a moose on it. And it's a magnet. And also, there's this really funny, Devin thought this was hilarious, but it's a little tiny mosquito trap. <laughs> it's like a gag gift. That is so funny. Okay, she also sent this, this is a scenic tour of Maine book. She's got a bunch of the, uh, you know, the scenic parts of Maine. And they were just cool. I told Devin now that we have a, uh, guidebook that means we need to go because i mean we need to put it to use and then she also sent a recipe book from maine which is really cool i've never cooked lobster but i don't know maybe i will one of these days but it's just got all kinds of um uh, maine recipes in there <laughs> she sent me this really awesome notebook i love this it's a christmas notebook it says we we wish you a merry christmas and it's just a lined notebook which is cool I will be using this all year, not just Christmas. <laughs> and then she sent me a whole bunch of postcards. Some of them have got, um, like, uh, hint, uh, not tips and hints, but like facts, fun facts about Maine and just different scenic parts of Maine. And some of them are funny. And then this one right here is like a sticker that you put on your car or something. Stock cons. I can't really show you all of them because it's not going to focus on any of them probably. But just a whole bunch of beautiful um, postcards, which are awesome because I love postcards. And then she also sent me a, um, what are they called? A hot, it's not an oven mitt, but the other thing. And this is the same as that sticker. But it's one of those, uh, you know, you grab bowls with them. What <laughs> those are called? A hot pad. And then she sent me some pictures that she took of Maine. And like there's a sand dollar. Oh, it's got it written on the back. And then um, this is so cool that she sent me pictures that she took. What was that? Okay. She sent me a picture of a rug that she made off of Pinterest. And she sent me a picture of her pattern, this is her own pattern for a teddy bear, made with like velvet yarn. And then this is a word I cannot say, <laughs> lake. Yeah, she said don't try to pronounce it, it's a long Indian name. 
is, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it's beautiful. This one is another word I can't say on the beach. Is it that same beach with the waves? These are just like mountain scenic um, pictures that she took. Can't believe people just live where you can see stuff like this just every day. <laughs> There's another sand dollar. That's one thing I want to do. The only beach we've ever been to is Gulf Shores and nothing washes up there apart from like the occasional garbage. There's no shells, no rocks, no nothing. I want to go to a beach so that we can collect shells and um, you know, sand dollars and whatever. I don't think you're allowed, some beaches you're not allowed to collect stuff, but I mean, what they don't know won't hurt them, I guess. I can't believe people just live where you can see stuff like that. That's a mountain, but I don't know how to say it. What's this one? Okay, this is a deer. <laughs> this one is a moose in a lake. Uh, harbor. Another one of the mountain. This is, I guess, her feet on the top of the mountain. <laughs> the mountain again. The mountain again. I think I already showed that one. I might mix some of these up. I just can't believe that. And that's so cool that these are pictures that she actually took. Um, it's an old to me. That's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, put them up so I can keep them. I think I might make some kind of album <laughs> to put all this stuff in. Let's see here. And then she sent me two more things. One was this. She said this is one of her best sellers at her uh, store or booth or whatever. <laughs> I can't remember. But it's this cute little backpack. And whatever you are, she uses super soft. But it's a little backpack for you to put, you know, money or whatever in. It's like a keychain. But it's actually a backpack. It's got little, the little armholes <laughs> in the front of it. This was tied in like a bow, but I untied it because it's a drawstring. You open the backpack and you undo the drawstring. And it's, you know, you put your money or whatever in there. And then you just cinch it back up and tie that in a bow. <laughs> Button it back. Button it back up. And there you go. Button. Hook it onto your backpack or whatever. So cool. I can understand why that's a bestseller because that's awesome. <laughs> and that yarn is super soft, whatever it is. And then the last thing she sent me was some yarn. This is all Willow brand yarn, which I've never used. I do have some that I won from Cinnamon Stitches. Uh, she sent me, I won a big pack of like bulky. I haven't used it yet, it's put up. But she sent me some, a bunch of Willow. This is Willow Yarn Summer. It's 55% cotton and 45% polyester. 174 yards each, really pretty yellow. And then this, these two are farmhouse cottons. They're 328 yards each, size threes, and they are 100% cotton. There's like a cream color and a rose color. This one's really pretty. This one's called Willow Yarns Ripples, 110 yards, 65% um, combed cotton and 35% polymod. Really pretty uh, variegated color, and it's like you know, it's called ripples and it is kind of ripply. It's got texture to it. And then she sent me a ball of Willow Summer, 174 yards, 55% cotton, 45% poly, poly, poly acrylic <laughs> brown color, like a chocolate brown. And then the last one was Willow Feather, 252 yards, 73% linen, 27% cotton. I didn't say what size it is, but it's probably like a fingering weight. Really small. It's really cool because it's all cotton yarn. That's everything she sent. It was a lot of stuff and we were all so excited. The living room looked like Christmas had hit because there was wrapping paper and uh, bubble wrap everywhere. We were all like playing with everything and looking at everything. It was a lot of fun. Um, so thank you so much for sending us this package. It made our day really awesome. <laughs> and Jesse also played with the uh, bubble wrap popping it afterwards. So we got all these goodies to go through and candies to eat. I'm gonna leave this in cupcake form for a while. It's super cute. But yeah, so I gotta hop off here and get back to sewing. But I just wanted to show this just so that I don't get super behind on mail. 
and uh, thank you everybody for the cards we've been getting. They're they're plastered all over our hallway, <laughs> and um, Devin was making a joke about it. And I actually, these ones I got today are gonna have to hang up in the living room because the hallway's full. But I do appreciate every card and every ornament and every little gift you've sent us and Jesse, and we do appreciate every bit of it. So thank you all so much. Hey guys, this is later in the day. It's actually almost 7. Jesse fell asleep on the couch. I was cleaning the kitchen and didn't even notice. And he's asleep in there, so he's napping. I'm sitting in here. I'm watching some YouTube videos. And I've got drawstring casings that I sewed today. I'm cutting them, you know, loose. <laughs> and turning them and pinning them to the front of the bags. And I'm um, assembly lining my bags. I got all the liners and drawstring casings sewed today. Tomorrow I'm going to sew all the drawstring casings to the outers and then the outers together with the label. <laughs> and then Wednesday I should be able to finish all the project bags. And then hopefully Thursday I make all the notion pouches. That's my plan. <laughs> if nothing happens. But I'm just sitting here trying to get caught up on some videos. I'm watching Zelda right now. And uh, letting him nap because he was a little grumpy. So he kind of needed it anyways. It's thunderstorming right now which is weird. It was really hot today when we uh, went out to check the mail and all that and uh, it was like oddly hot it had been really cold you know it's December but um, it was probably like in the 60s today which is hot for us you know for now when it's been in the 40s and 50s so it's storming because <laughs> the heat and the cold you know mixing together I don't know if it's supposed to storm a lot though I don't know I don't watch the news so I don't know but uh, I'm sure if anything too bad is going on my mom will let me know because she always does I'm going to sit here and keep doing this. And if it doesn't storm too bad and the power doesn't go out. It was flickering earlier. Uh, I may start sewing the drawstring casings tonight. Just because I have time. <laughs> and uh, just get a leg up. I haven't vlogged much at all today. Because I've just been so busy. I did film a mail haul. Because I got more mail. I kind of feel bad because I've been showing so much mail haul. That's just because I'm getting a lot of cards and stuff. But tomorrow morning, I'm going to take Jesse to my mom's. She's going to watch him tomorrow night because Devin has an early morning appointment on Wednesday. It's like an 8. <laughs> and I don't want to have to wake Jesse up to take him. So she's going to watch him and then we're going to pick him up after that. So I might vlog some more tomorrow. Also, the Downton Abbey movie comes out tomorrow on DVD. So I'm probably going to go get it. Because <laughs> I love Downton Abbey and I need all of it <laughs> to complete my collection. <laughs> and, um... What else? I guess while he's gone, I'm going to binge watch the rest of the new season of Castle Rock. Because I can't ever watch that when he's here. Unless I'm using headphones and on the laptop. So I get to watch bits and pieces of it sometimes when he's playing and doing stuff. Because I don't want to scare him. It's kind of a scary show, you know. And then I'm going to try to finish Call the Midwife. I was, I was watching it through again. I've only got like six episodes left to be caught up on it again and then I'm going to start watching Outlander again <laughs> that's my plan because I always like to have something going when I'm sewing and stuff and um I think I'm going to start watching Outlander season one through three is on Netflix now season four is on Stars app so I could I've already used the free trial on my email but I could use Devin's email and get the free trial again and then watch season four on it after I get caught up <laughs> on the other three season five is about to start on tv I'm pretty sure I love that show. <laughs> I'm thinking about actually hosting an Outlander cow after the new year. I was thinking about earlier because I was thinking I could get plaid um, material to make bags for the winners because, you know, they're Scottish and they wear kilts and all that. I thought that would be cute. I don't know. I'll see about it. But it's thundering, so I'm just going to sit here and watch uh, all my videos. Oh, it's raining. I just heard it rain big time. And uh, hopefully that internet won't go out <laughs> or the power. But we got candles and uh, my phone's charged, so if the internet does go out, I guess. I mean, if the power goes out, we can watch a little bit of TV on my phone until it dies. <laughs> but I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Bye.